All right, everybody. There's Curtis. And what I'm going to show you today is, is how to change the oil on my bike, which is a 500 Foreman Rubicon Honda. It's 2015. And I'm going to change the oil in here because it needs oil change. So I'm going to set everything up and I'll get back to get in. All right, see you then. All right, everybody. So I'm up over on the bike and I got my ratchet and right socket for it. Okay, so you see this hole right here? Uh, mind the bad cameraman, but I got it on a tripod and I'm trying to get so good as I can, but it's kind of hard up under a quad. But right here, my finger's doing this hole, there's a bolt. That's your drain bolt. So you want to loosen him up, make sure something goes up under it. And I'm screwing a little, a little bit and a little bit at a time. Try not to lose the bolt in the oil container. What I'm using is chopped off piece of uh, windshield wash. And let the oil drain out of her. And then I'll show you how to uh, put the oil filter net in and how to get to it and put oil on her. And how this hopefully going to be a good video for you. All right, see you in. All right, wait now. We got her. So let's try to get this drain plug loose. Okay, that's the wrong way. <laughs> My mistake. Okay, boy. All right, let's try to get this work. No. Uh oh, what's going on here? going on here now okay hang on people all right there we go so maybe i get it with my fingers now okay all right it's coming now ready see there's your drain plug and the oil is draining out of every good there now so oh. <laughs> So we'll have to wait now and hopefully this oil will drain. All right, everybody. So while we're waiting for that oil to drain out, I'm going to show you how to get to your uh, oil filter. First off, you got to take this off, which I don't know if I can. So, so first off, take your seat off. Then... You uh, then take this off. This is just a piece of plastic here. See if this comes off first. Oh, there you go. Just came off. That's one side. Now you have to do this side. Okay. So that should all come off like that. If it'll ever come off. Okay, so take that part off. So you really expose the bike, and right here that is the oil filter. So we're going to have to uh, take that cap off, and I'll get back to you. All right, everybody. So the oil is almost drained out for now. So I have to wait for that so I can put the jug up under the filter. So when I take the filter out, that uh, so I won't go over the floor. So the oil I'm using today to put in my bike is 10W40 four stroke motor oil. This is Pro Honda. This is the actual Honda oil that goes in bikes, in the Honda bikes. So I got two jugs in them. And the oil filter I got here is the Hiflo Filtro, whatever the name it is. Premium, premium oil filter. So, that's what I'm going to be using for my oil filter. So, now I have to move the jug from the bike to the oil on the other side for the oil filter. So, when the oil comes with the oil filter, it won't go on the ground. And you don't want to go on the ground because <laughs> you're not living. So, I'll get back to you in a brief moment. 
All right, everybody. So, on my Honda 500 2015, my oil filter is right here. So, I got a jug placed up under the bike. So, when I take the oil cap off, oil is going to come out the oil filter, and you do not want that on your floor or concrete floor because you're just going to have oil stain, and it's just a mess. And you don't want that. So, what I've done is put a jug up under it. So, you get to take these bolts out. All right, everybody. So, I got the bolts on here is eight millimeter. So, we get, let's do it. That one's loose. That one's loose. And that one's loose. So, once you get some loosening, these should just come on, on your fingers. So like that, see? That's your oil filter bolt. Now you want to put that somewhere where you ain't gonna lose it. In my case. Alright everybody, so I got the cap off. So that's the cap there. Now the oil is gonna drain out. So just put your cap somewhere where you're not gonna lose it. And take your oil filter out, just like that, and throw that right in the jug, because that oil filter is dirty. So, throw that in your oil jug, let that all drain out there, and we got to get the new oil filter over on the bench. Alright everybody, so we're taking the cap off the oil filter, that's one of the bolts, I got all three bolts put in, and I'm here at Suicide Garage doing this, and uh, go check him out, he's a really good channel, he does pretty much what I do, fixing cars and bikes and screws and stuff like that, he's a really good channel, I subscribe to him and I watch his videos and they're really, really good, so check him out. Alright everybody, so this is my new oil filter that's going to go in my bike and this rubber gasket here, that one, there's a trick. So what you, gotta, what you do is dip your finger in some oil and put it around the seal because if you put the seal on like this, it could dry up and crack and cause oil leak which you do not want or it could seize on and you don't want that either. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna dip my finger in some oil here, like that, and put some oil around the seal, like that, so it don't dry up or crack or anything, which I don't want. So then, we're gonna put it in the bike, put the oil filter in like this, and there should be a spring. So, then you take your oil cap, Drain the excess oil and put your oil cap back on. But it's going to be hard because there's a spring. Now, what do you want to do is you want to make sure that spring has not moved. I don't know if you can see in here, but you want to make sure that spring has not moved because that spring can easily come out. So you do not want that spring to come out. That's why it's hard to get the cap on. So, just put your oil filter in. Put your cap back on. Make sure that seal goes into this hole right here. So, you put that in like that. Then you want to put your bolts back in and tighten them up finger tight. So, your cover won't come off when you're putting in. Put more bolts into it. Just keeps cap on off. And that should be good there at that. So keep all right everybody. I got my oil cap put back on. As you can see, I got the bolts are tight. They do not want to tighten up your bolts too much because it's only soft metal and you could strip it out and then you're done for because if you strip it out. Then you gotta get a whole new fronting of your motor, right? 
So you don't want to do that. So I'm going to get up under the bike and put the drain plug back in and I'll get back to you. All right, everybody. So I got my oil filler cap back on. I got my drain plug back in. So now we're going to refill the engine oil. So I got this makeshift funnel and we're going to start putting the oil in. So your bike should take around two, two and a half quarts. I got two. We'll see how much that'll work. Should be okay. But uh, we're going to see it when we get the oil back in. This is going to be a slow process. So when I get the oil back, when I get the oil in, I'll get back to you. All right, everybody. So I had the oil put back in. And when you put your oil in, uh, make keep putting the dipstick in. And when she's full, put the dip, screw the dipstick in. And start her up for three to five minutes. Shut her off. Check the oil again. She should she shouldn't even be shown. And so put some oil on her, top her up again, run her again for another three or four months. Then she might be down a little bit. So put a little drop on her until she's full. Then you should be good to go. You, she's good then. So I got the plastics and the seats put back on now. So she's all done. So she's looking all nice and spiffy. Been dirty, but you know, it's going to be dirty. So, anyway, thanks for watching this video, and big thanks to Sightside Garage for letting me put my bike in and working on this and filming this. <laughs> so, big thanks to him. Go check his channel. He does a lot of stuff with this, changing oils. He, he, he rebuilt it, uh, he put his home on his tire, on his bike, and battery, stuff like that. So, keep, uh, keep an update on him, and everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe, please, if you want to, and guarantee go check Sightside Graduate and thanks for him. All right, see you, everybody.